2020 has just been a year, hasn't it? Hey guys, Danny here and welcome to my little corner of the internet. For those of you who don't know me, I am a singer-songwriter who recently got a grant with Canada Council of the Arts. As part of my grant, I have been documenting my journey throughout my learning and all of that stuff with my grant, which you can check out the full playlist up here. For me, and probably for everyone else, 2020 has been the most insane year ever. And because of the lockdowns and travel restrictions, I have been unable to complete pretty much everything in my grant besides the few videos that I have made thus far. Which is why I need a grant extension. If you are in the same boat, don't worry, I am going to walk you through all the steps and everything you need to know about getting a grant extension, whether you are getting an extension with Canada Council or any other granting body. Obviously, I'm going to be using Canada Council's information to walk you through everything just because that's where my grant is and that is the easiest information for me to access. But all of these steps and tips will qualify and go with any grant that you are getting. Step one is to check the terms and conditions of your grant acceptance letter. In the terms and conditions of my grant acceptance, it states, if for any reason you cannot use the grant in the expected time, decide not to carry out the plans described in your grant application or refuse the grant conditions, you must notify us immediately. This is good. This means that there is already a process in place for needing an extension or if there's any extenuating circumstances and there will always be a way to contact your granting body. Step two is to check the website. If you are ever needing to extend your grant, the best place to look is the FAQ section on the granting website. You are not the first person to need a grant extension and you will not be the last person. So this is something that probably gets asked very frequently, which is why it would be answered in the frequently asked questions. Because COVID-19 has affected so many people, most granting bodies have put special things in place to circumvent all of the craziness and the questions and everything that is being affected by COVID-19. So if you go onto your granting body's website and at the top banner, there's something along the lines of read more about our COVID-19 changes or policies or anything like that, I would also suggest clicking through there and reading through that briefly because your granting body might be giving automatic extensions or have changed the way that you get extensions because probably so many people are asking for extensions because of COVID. I personally found my answer in the report form section on the website. It gave me a link to the form to fill out and told me how and where to send it off so that I can get my grant extension. Step three is to fill out the form. Most of these forms are fairly simple. They just want some basic information about you and your grant and then the reason for why you want the extension. Granting bodies are generally very understanding. And as long as your reasoning for needing an extension isn't, I forgot, or you're waiting till the very last minute and you didn't do half the things that were on your grant, they are more than likely going to accept your extension because we are all human and life happens. For example, for me specifically, I applied for my grant in August of 2019 and I wasn't approved until January 2020 and I was supposed to complete my grant in November of 2020. Between August 2019 and November 2020, the entire world has changed. But not only that, just in not COVID times, in normal everyday life, that is a long period of time and people's lives and circumstances change. So it is very common for people to need extensions or for things to get changed up a bit, which is why the granting bodies are generally super understanding about these types of things and they want you to succeed. That is their goal is for you to better yourself. So they are more than likely and more than willing to work with you to get what you need done when you need to get it done. As long as you are upfront, honest, and you are applying for your extension as soon as possible. If you're having any issues at all, it is important to remember that your granting body is here to help you. Give them a call or send them an email. Just make sure that you reach out and ask for help. Like I said, 
they aren't sitting there wanting to see you fail. They don't take pride or enjoyment in seeing people not successfully complete what they set out their grants to do. So they are going to do everything in their power to help you accomplish what you wanted to do in your grant. What's most important is that you reach out as soon as possible. When you reach out as soon as possible, it gives them the most amount of options to help you, whether that's an extension or whatever else that you need. So to get a best chance at being successful in your grant, even if you do need an extension, it is very important to reach out if you need help, if you don't understand the forms, if you are just stressed out and lost and don't really understand anything to do with your grant, that is why the granting body is there. That is why they have contact information. There will always be people there willing to talk to you. If you have more grant related questions, feel free to reach out to me on either my Instagram or my Twitter and ask away, or you can also ask in the comment section down below. I will see you guys again next time. Bye.